Hi, I'm Jane Benyons, the creator of Craft for Wellbeing. If you've watched other videos on my channel, then you know that I absolutely love art, but today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm sharing 10, yes, 10 ways to improve your health and wellbeing during this time of lockdown. When you're stuck indoors, the four walls can start to close in on you really fast. Get yourself out in an open space. It's really good for the soul. Walk your dog, or if you haven't got a dog, borrow someone's dog. There's lots of people that can't get out and need their dogs walked. If you're anxious about getting out, choose somewhere that's close to home, somewhere you can get back quickly. Somewhere that's isolated, where there's not many people. Being out and about can inspire you to find some more objects to do some artwork. This is one of my absolute favourite places. It feels like you're on the edge of the world sometimes. Look at that view. It's stunning. But the thing is, don't look behind you. Look. If you look behind you, you know where you are. You're in Gillingham. Back to turn this way. See? Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so you may not have a garden like me, but you can create a space on a balcony or online you can buy miniature Zen gardens from Amazon, which are a great idea. But once you've done all your hard work, you can chill. Get creative with your ideas. You can be artistic without drawing. You can um, buy adult colouring books or even use children's colouring books, but I lose lots of time colouring in. Think outside the box. Maybe learn how to do some blue modelling. I'm actually scared of balloons. <laughs> what is it you had as favourites when you were a child, like Lego? I mean, who grows out of Lego? Being creative by um, doing some artwork is a great way to lose a lot of time and there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube where you can learn how to do new techniques. You can take up walking for exercise. The lists of things to do are endless, from learning a new instrument, crochet, knitting, cycling, starting a collection of something that you'd like to collect watching your favourite box set from the beginning to the end. Being stuck indoors during lockdown is a great time to, um, to do something new. The world's your oyster, there's so much out there. Be inspired, so think about something that you can start from afresh. Or pick up hobbies again that you may have put on the back burner and forgot that you actually even enjoyed doing them. two fingers and trying to build up some strength in um, on the fretboard and a bit more accuracy. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jane et toi? Hola! Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, set. Why are you man? That's an accent. Also on YouTube there's some great tutorials on how to learn languages which clearly I haven't watched. So my first challenge to you guys who are watching is to find something new on YouTube that you can learn to do. Learning a new skill can also widen your social circle um, because you can then discuss on social media your new skills that you've learned and join groups that are like-minded and do the same things. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Duvet days can be really nice. 
but when a duvet day becomes every day, you lose your motivation and your world gradually gets darker. Darkness, my friend. So if you do just even one thing today, try and get dressed and then plan your duvet days, you'll appreciate them a lot more. Self-care doesn't mean that you have to pamper yourself and get dressed up. It just means doing something that's going to help you today. It could be as simple as brushing your teeth or getting dressed or doing something nice for yourself. There's also plenty of books out there that are great for mindfulness or helping with anxiety, kind of self-help books. There's um, loads of them on Amazon or work, the works online. Lots of places do them. I find these quite helpful. Having a few of your favourite treats is lovely, it's really good to treat ourselves but if you're going to eat fast food and treats like this all the time you're soon going to lose energy and motivation. It's lovely to have a hearty meal but we don't always fill up to cooking one but some foods take less time than a microwave meal are more healthy and cost less. There are really healthy options that come in packets that are just the same price as a microwave meal. You can eat well. And when you don't feel like eating, it's important to have small and often little snacks. Hey, how are you? It's been ages. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> really? Oh wow. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Staying connected with people is really important, either through social media or giving a friend a call or speaking to a helpline or being involved in a group online is a good idea, but it's not, it's not great to just stay at home and be completely isolated. You need to reach out sometimes and connect with people. Or make silly YouTube videos. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay in that place on your own. So make sure you do reach out if you need to. This is my distraction box. And inside I have lots of goodies. As you've seen in one of my earlier videos, I have some Lego. That's great to occupy the mind and take you back to your childhood days. I also have in here a Rubik's Cube which I'm really frustrated with because I can't do it. Um, I know a lot of people pull them apart to get back to the beginning, but I can't do that because it's cheating. Anyway, so I have different styles of Ruby cubes in there. These are tactile things. My whole distraction box is made up of things to touch, things to see, things to smell, um, and I did have things to taste in here, but they no longer exist. Sorry about that. Um, so what have I got in this box? <clears throat> so, I have fidget spinners, which are great for concentration. I have a ball that lights up and it's kind of squidgy. In fact, for, ta for tactile stuff I've got a, a few squidgy things. Okay, and we have some more Lego. Um, I also have and some nice body butter which one is smells absolutely beautiful but two you can um, massage your own hands or your own feet um, my daughter actually got me this and it's just got a silly laugh and it was to try and cheer me up and make me laugh I love that um, oh, yes I have some bubbles in fact I've got a few pots of bubbles in fact, I've got more bubbles. Yeah, as you can see, I love bubbles. And to make the bubbles fun. <laughs> um, I've got some hand cream. Um, oh, this is really good. This is magic sand. So basically, it's solid until you lift it out. And then it goes back to crumbly or something like that. Um, it's called Magic Sand. Um, I've got some nice smelling candles. Mm, I know, I wish you could smell that, but you can't. Um, so basically my distraction box is made up of things that 
that help me. I've got stuff that lights up in there and I've also got a projector that does the northern lights across the ceiling. I have a mixture of relaxation CDs, um, like bath time, meditation, things like that. Um, and then I've got my Bluetooth speaker. But the thing is, what I have in my distraction box wouldn't necessarily be what you have in yours because um, things help different people and we're all into different things. I'm a very tactile person, I like things I can touch, see and do. Um, other people might have books in there that they can read or photographs that remind them of happy times or recorded messages from people. Um, the whole point about a distraction box is before you go into a crisis episode you have something um, to pull out and rely on. I use my box um, normally when I'm not well, I don't tend to use it when I am well. But I also found while I was going out and buying bits for my box, it was that, that was a distraction in itself and it was really fun. I went around a lot of pound shops and I went in the works and yeah, I found, I like finding bits for my distraction box and every now and again um, I renew the bits and I, I don't just chuck things out when I renew them. I've got lots of nieces and nephews so um, I can pass things on to those or my own children. Um, I don't... Yeah, I don't just throw it in the bin. But anyway, that's my distraction box and um, it's good fun. So, um, yeah, let me know if you decide to create one yourself. I'd be interested to hear what you've got in your box. I have a big spot on my chin and I just noticed it. So I'll give you another challenge today for the distraction box. I want you to find one thing that smells, one thing um, that you can taste, one thing that you can touch, and one thing that you can say. Um, to start your distraction box um, um, put your ideas in the comments below I'd love to hear some really good advice someone gave me the other day was that during the lockdown period or, or even any day is to to plan your day make sure you have something that you're going to do so that you've got something to get out of bed for something um, to look forward to um, something that can make you feel productive um, you could also have great fun making a planner, like a daily planner to put on your fridge. Setting goals doesn't have to be daunting. Um, they're just little tiny goals you can start with or um, plan as much goals as you want. And it's really good to have something to work towards. Okay, I mean, we used to watch play school when they were little. Today, through the round window, which leads us to tip eight, you could um, plan to have a day with your friend online, of course, but you could be watching the same video. <laughs> or you could be doing, um, playing the same game on the Xbox or PlayStation um, but doing something together online just because you're on your own and isolated in your own house doesn't mean you have to sit there and do absolutely nothing. Did you catch that last bit? I was testing you when I said that was tip 8, that was tip 10. I, I, I honestly, I, I, was, I was just testing you. I didn't get confused. Maybe? Maybe I did? My dog is so bored, look, <laughs> he's asleep in the background. Okay, he's not quite asleep now, he's um, looking over because I'm talking about him, but hey, that was your 10 tips. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to give me feedback on all of the little tips that I've given you today. It's been lovely. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Bye. Stay safe.